Okay, so this is um, one of my first videos on fallen teachers. Now, um, Hawkins talks a lot about this, and I haven't talked about it very much until uh, now, but um, you'll see from Hawkins' work, if you watch all his videos, that um, actually most of the teachers, spiritual teachers, actually fall uh, at some point, and they fall for temptation. Now, why is this why is this important? Um, for example, um, Hawkins saw Ramesh Balkasar um, while he was a while he was a very high teacher in the seven hundreds. But later on, when a student asked him uh, about Ramesh's calibration, Hawkins just told him to look at the news. I believe there was quite a lot of articles about Ramesh and sexual stuff going on and rumors. And he and he it wouldn't endorse him. He just said to look at the news articles. Um, so, um, a lot of the teachers and he and he I've shared about this to some extent, and Hawkins shares about it extensively. They get to the five hundreds. They get to very advanced states, uh, to the cities, and then um, they are actually beset by temptation, extreme temptation by the negative forces in this world from within and without. Uh, to succumb for um, either it's money or sex or something, or power or control, um, and um, and and actually the majority of them do fall. Uh, you know the classic example which I often share is there was a spiritual teacher very high in America, uh, at a very sublime state that suddenly s started to recommend sex orgies and then had 90, 97 Rolls Royces in the backyard. And I got to meet one of his students who was, you know, was very, very disturbed, you know, through um, devoting her life to her teacher as, her, you know, the the, guard, the guardianship of her soul. So when a teacher falls, um, it uh, can have severe effects on the students. And um, uh, so, um, and unfortunately, most teachers, uh, a lot of the teachers do fall. And Hawkins has described even some of the famous ones are actually calibrating below 200, below integrity, even though there are thousands of people following them. So, um, however, you know, the, uh, the, how do you know? Well, the, the muscle testing is one way. If you've got access to a kinesiologist, that's good. Um, uh, I can talk more about that in another video. How do you find a good muscle tester kinesiologist? Because they have to be integrous, otherwise they won't give good readings. Um, they can calibrate the teachers so that you can make sure that the if you've got a living teacher, calibrate to make sure he's above integrity. Otherwise, um, now here's the thing I wanted to say today. If your teacher, if you've got a living teacher and he's not uh, calibrating above integrity, then stop, stop, what, stop talking to him and watching him or watching his videos or reading his materials immediately. Why do I say that? Because um, Hawkins did this. Like if you look at the, if you look at a photo, if you look at um, a photo of, for example, Gandhi or Mother Teresa, um, and you test your arm strength, um, your arms will go strong. Just look at a photograph of them. They are aligned with truth. And even their image, not just their words, makes you go strong and calibrate at a high vibration and tune in to miracles and and, and God's vibration. Now, if you've got um, someone, you know, Adolf Hitler actually calibrated in his early years in the 400s, as did Napoleon. They both did fall when they got into egomania uh, below 200. So they were actually integrous people in the early days. And when they fell, they fell below 200. Now, if you if you um, get a photo of Adolf Hitler and you held him as an inspiring character in Germany, and then he suddenly calibrates below, gone into megalomania and lost his calibration, you're uh, just to uh, what, look at his photo, even though he used to be positive, will make, you, make your whole body collapse. You'll tune into a negative vibration. You won't make good decisions. And you'll be tuning into very um, into a, a negative uh, frequency where you'll be susceptible to negative thoughts and negative influences. So it's actually quite extreme if you're um, even looking at a person and trying to take on the advice 
of a person who's not in integrity. Um, how did Hawkins, um, I, I vouch for Hawkins 100%, um, and I would recommend students to calibrate living teachers, because I think you'll find it, if you do calibrate them, most of them are not in integrity, uh, unfortunately. Um, I say that, I mean, you don't have to take my word for it. Um, you can calibrate, get someone to calibrate them and, and, and do that for yourself. Uh, but there is a way, uh, I would say, I'll vouch for Hawkins and his work being 100% in integrity, and he's, de he's dead now, so he cannot fall. And um, and his way of defending his students from um, any of his students following a fallen teacher was in the book Truth versus Falsehood to give a list of all the teachers that calibrate high, and that he recommends his teachers to read their books and to follow their works. So some of them are uh, like Buddha, Jesus Christ, Krishna, uh, Mother Teresa, Gandhi, um, uh, uh, Ramana Maharishi. Um, uh, with Jesus Christ, because it's a long time ago, mostly the New Testament, not the Old Testament. Or you can, as a mystic teaching, you can try the Course in Miracles. Um, uh, Buddha is quite good, and uh, Krishna, Bhagavad Gita. So, um, and uh, the teachings direct from uh, Ramana Maharishi, and I endorse uh, David Hawkins and the teachers he endorses. But if you're following a living teacher, actually, um, uh, I think you'll be surprised if you check them out, muscle testing. A lot of the famous teachers now in all circles are not actually calibrating. Um, now, I mean, I don't want you to take my word for it, but that was what Hawkins was finding and uh, and um, if you have access to a kinesiologist, but be care be careful. Uh, I'm warning anyone who's my students to follow a teacher or to read a teacher or to look at a teacher's video who's not calibrating above integrity or actually blow out your meridians and 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 actually um, make you susceptible to negative thoughts and negative vibrations. So you do need to be careful um, with. Um, spiritual teachers uh, how, how do you how do you recognize them um good question uh hawkins has actually given extensive lists in his videos uh, and also his books on recognizing falling teachers and cults um controlling uh using students for sexual seduction uh trying to control students using students to get money or just out of power um adoration so if a teacher is getting off on any of those things and is going below integrity, um, you should um, you should leave them. Um, and um, so I will shoot a lot more videos to try and make students aware and try to get students more conscious and also make students more conscious of um, being very weary uh, through muscle testing of um, everything, really. Who's your teacher? Who are the books you read? Who are the people you associate with? What TV programs do you watch? Um, you know, it's all um, because um, okay, so they're attractive fields. As soon as you're, for example, let's say you decide to, you're in a good place, you watch a horror movie uh, where there is a lot, a lot of violent killing and, uh, and uh, I don't know, monsters or whatever. You're actually going from a very high vibration you're, and you're identifying with the movie let's say the movie calibrates at 120 well you are in the you are in the observer at let's say 560 or whatever uh, and then suddenly you're watching you're letting your ego identify with the movie that calibrates at 120 so as you watch that movie and you identify with the thoughts and the ideas and the messages in that horror movie by the end of you know two hours of a horror movie you may have, you know, hypnotized yourself into a vibration of 120, you know, and you'll be getting negative thoughts and negative entities will be able to influence you, negative circumstances, negative thoughts will be pulled to you. Suddenly you may think of addiction. All of these things can happen. So be be very mindful of, of um, your actions, thoughts, and uh, what you do and who you see and who your teacher is. Um, so as I said, I do I recommend uh, Truth versus Falsehood by Hawkins and his list of recommended teachers and his works on 
how to identify fallen teachers and just his general works and how to keep your vibration safe. <laughs>